All right, folks, we're back here in the long drive where we're trying to build up our awesome bus, but I have found something I have never ever seen in the game. I am sitting in front of a giant crater. What in the heck even is this? You know what? Let's shut this off. Is there something inside of said crater? Uh, Maximo Cats, if I don't show back up in like 10 minutes, uh, just take over the bus and, I don't know, complete the journey. Right now, he just looks confused. Uh, you guys can hit the thumbs up button for, I don't know, craters. Um, what? Okay, what caused this? Was it the... I guess the bus depot down there like look at this this is a complete crater it hasn't quite loaded in fully on the other side but this is a giant hole in the ground uh, I was driving getting ready to start recording and I came up on this and I was like this is the strangest thing I've ever seen like we have to go in this right what if I die going down in this is it a good idea I don't know let me grab some ammo real quick and uh, let's head down all right so we're just gonna ease our way down let's go oh 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 Oh, I hope we can get out of this. Uh, this is cool. Like, and I've never... Has anybody else... Anybody's played the long drive? Have you ever seen a just straight-up crater like this? And this is a deep crater. This is, like... I mean, it's ridiculous looking. It, it has to have something to do with the way the bus depot spawned in. Because this just isn't natural for the long drive. Okay, just keep going down. Wait, <laughs> What if I find a vehicle I want in the bus depot? How do you even get it out of here? That doesn't make any sense at all. Okay, just carefully keep edging down. I wonder if I can just walk down this. Hold on. Uh, let's touch the side. Is this... Can I walk or am I going to die? I don't know what's happening right now. My leg is just like pointed straight out and I'm just slowly skidding down. But hey, we're making it. Uh, do I see any mutants? Like, look up. Look at how freaking tall this is. This is incredible. It's just one circle. Like, it looks like an impact crater. And then somebody was like, you know what? Let's build a bus depot down there. That's totally what this area needs. I don't know. Maybe they had foundation problems and their home just, like, sank down or their business. All right. Anything in? Wait, what? Don't tell me it's empty. Wait, did we come down here for nothing? Holy man, it is... It's completely empty. Is there even... There's not even mutants in here. It's just the base furniture that you can't move out of here. Like, that's... Is there any poo? There's not even any toilets. What if I had to go to the bathroom down here? This makes zero sense. This is the strangest thing I think I've ever seen in the game. Like, <laughs> it has to, like, do with the whole fact that we're kind of on a mountain now. And the game was like, hey, let's spawn in this bus depot. But let's put it at, I guess, the base level of the ground. And, yeah, it has caused... Uh, this weird phenomenon, but I mean, it's really cool. Uh, question is, is it going to be okay? It's easier to get out of this thing than it is to go down in it. Well, kind of pointless, but definitely a really cool stop along the journey here to 100 days. Folks, we're getting close. Like, I feel like next week we are going to hit it. Now, I've had a lot of people question, well, what happens at the 100 days? Do you stop the series? And you know what? I'm going to leave that up to you guys. Do we just stop it at 100 days? Do I just park the vehicle? And we just, you know, don't do any more? Or do I keep going? Uh, comment down below what we should do. Let's get back at the bus. We need to go find some more supplies for the top of it. But I thought this was like the coolest thing I've ever seen. And I, I, you guys needed to see this. Uh, but I am curious if any of you guys have seen something similar to this. Uh, I've seen cliffs, but I've never seen just like a big crater. One eternity later. Oh my goodness. Look at the mountain formation to the right of us. We're going, luckily, it looks like to the left there is a stop up there. Uh, by the way, uh, Maxwell, we have one still riding on the roof. I want to kind of make some protective barriers. Uh, I know a lot of people are like, hey, you should do like a watchtower for the Maxwell. Well, I mean, that's as close as it's going to get. They can't really actually see over the pallets, but you know what? Uh, it's fine. It looks cute up there, but I do want to build a room where the couch is on the back of my bus. I feel like that would be absolutely awesome, uh, so I'm hoping to do that. Oh, no, the noise is back. Editor, please, uh, will you amplify what I'm hearing? So that spinning out noise is not the bus tires. It is the tires on the bike that we found in the last episode. Which, by the way, we really haven't used it much yet. I want to do, like, a, a ramp uh, for the back door and maybe, like, deploy it that way. I think that'd be kind of cool. Seems like a van. I mean, the bus is slowing down a little bit. Maybe it's just struggling to get up this road. Uh, we did swap engines. I, I do find this engine uh, seems to tow up mountains a little bit better. It might not have as good a top speed as our V8 did, but uh, I like it. What is this? Is this a supermarket? You know what? I could use something to eat. Uh, there's a nice vehicle outside of it, too. No, it's not a supermarket. It's the, uh, just a normal stop. That vehicle's just in a really odd position. Uh, strange things are happening here today. All right, let's go, uh, let's go check out what's in here. 
Hello. What if this place didn't have loot in it either? Kind of like the uh, the bus. That'd be weird if everything just stopped having loot. No, this has loot. Uh, does it have people in it? It's a question. Uh, is anybody home? Oh, huh? no. Wait, are they around back or something? It's kind of strange. Uh, I don't. Okay, no, don't see any mutants. All right, let's uh see what they have in the boxes here. Maybe some stuff uh, that I could use. Any pallets? No, I don't like pallets normally in this stop. Unless they're on the roof. Are they up here? Uh, oh, there's a gun up here. I mean, I'll take that. Uh, we'll come back for that. Let's go smash these things open. Boom. Maxwell's. What? Wait, what the heck was even in here? Uh, I can't even tell. Oh, there's a revolver in there. Is it just one? Oh, there's multiple revolvers in here. Well, would you look at that? I mean, that's a pretty good little find. Um, I think we can guess what's in that one. I don't think I feel the need to open that, but boom, we got a bar stool. All right, well, really just, you know, it's a good weapon stop. Uh, any food in here? I mean, there's a half-eaten croissant. Who wouldn't eat that? Uh, go ahead and eat that. I need a little water, which, thankfully, there's water back here, so I can, uh, I can up my supply. There is a couch in here. I just, I don't feel like we need another couch on top of the bus. Uh, we've already got one. Here, we're just gonna stand in here and get a nice old drink. And then I'll, uh, I'll fill up my containers and load them up into the bus. We're probably gonna stay here for the night. Uh, I don't feel the need to drive at night right now. Oh, we're so close to day 100. I almost feel like I need to be careful because uh, anything can go wrong here. Do want you guys to admire this real quick. It, it's a little dark, but the view that I have right here on top of like, I guess we're kind of on a mountain. Ah, uh, it's absolutely spectacular. All right, well, we'll see you guys in the morning. So guys, do you see what I'm seeing? That road goes all the way up to the top of that mountain. Like I can see the road going over it. That might not even be as tall as that road is, either. I have a feeling the terrain hasn't just... It, maybe it's not loaded in. What is going to be on the other side of that? I feel like the game is going to attempt to kill me before the 100 days. Because the terrain is getting a little on the wacky side. I mean, we saw the crater. Like, could you imagine if I was driving at night? Uh, and I would have swerved a little off the road. And I didn't see that crater. Like, it was hard enough to kind of make it out uh, in the daylight. But if that was night and I would have flown off the road. That was a... That would be a serious drop. There would be no... No way I wouldn't die there. Oh, it's getting kind of scary here. Uh, maybe it's just I'm going to drive myself insane until we get to day 100. But now I've become a little paranoid. Uh, but it's fine. We're just searching for parts for the bus, slowly getting to day 100. I mean, I could just pull over on the side of the road and sleep for the next, I think it's like 10, 15 days. Oh, you've got to be ki Come on, officer. You ran into the back of me. Oh, are we really going to do this today? You know, I've got firepower here. Okay, you know what? Maybe we can... Well, I don't think we're outrunning the cop. Uh, come on. I could get on the bike and take off, but I feel like being on the bike in this terrain might be dangerous. I know some people be like, well, why'd you even get the bike? Well, I got the bike uh, for normal situations when there's like something a little too far off and I want to get there real quick, like say a stop that I spot. Said like, I don't know, I want to go to that bus stop down there. Uh, I didn't, I didn't grab it to drive on the side of a mountain. I feel like that's asking for it. All right, cop, you're asking for it. Oh, come on. It's too early in the morning to get into a police chase. I need another cliff. Like, where is another crater? I would just yeet the cop off into it. Oh, they're coming for the driver. Okay, hey, can, can you stop that? Uh, oh my goodness, I just almost hit a pole. I'm gonna die here today, aren't I? Okay, come on. Uh, wait, that looks like me. Like, that looks exactly like me. Okay, uh, this is getting annoying. Cop, will you please, what was that? Oh, another car just spawned in and instantly went in the rock. Okay, come on, give me a cliff up here. I want to launch the cop off it. Hold on, I found the next best thing. There's a rock ahead of me. And clunk. <laughs> yeah, idiot. Oh my goodness. Okay, the bus is struggling a little bit. Oh, we need a little extra power. You know, does anybody remember my old series and the hyperzine? Which it was a blue liquid that you would stick in the engine. Uh, or was it in the engine? Or maybe it was a gas tank. You would stick it there. And it like increased the horsepower just to a ridiculous amount. Kind of wish we had that. Also, look at that. That is a heck of a view behind us. We have... Man, we've really been trucking through this little mountain range. Uh, you can see the road is kind of up there to the top right. That's where we just were not that long ago. That's that's awesome. Oh, look, it's another officer of the law. Well, it doesn't look like the last one. Wait, are they pulling it? Oh, I thought they were about to pull in front of me and try to pull me over. Uh, folks, I think we've almost made it to the top of this mountain. Uh, it's been pretty like bad for stops so far, but the terrain is at least cool. Um, 
I guess. I don't know if you... Oh my goodness. No, it goes further up. There is a stop up there, though. The, I believe that is the peak of the mountain that we saw earlier. Uh, I need to keep up the momentum, so I'm going to hold it wide open here and hope that it will carry me up to the other side. Oh, I can hear the turbo spooling up. Uh, hold on, little buddy. Okay, come on. Oh, that is a steep road. Okay, we got this. This is going to be easy peasy here. Uh, I really do need another big turbo. Like, I would love to find... Those are actually really rare to find in the game now. I used to find a lot of them. I don't know if it's, like, interacting with another object or something, but, yeah, they don't appear as often as I'd like. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're losing a little bit of traction here, folks. Oh, come on. Turbo, kick in. I can hear you trying to get us up. It's going to flatten off a little bit here, and it should go right back up. I, I think we're going to make it. It's just going to take a second here. Oh, come on, little buddy. Come on, you got this. I want to honk the horn for encouragement. Jeez, I might have to throw out some, I don't know, furniture. Uh, don't worry, Max Bills. I'm not throwing you guys out. I wonder if I threw the V8 out. I mean, it's all heavy. Hey, I'd like to be going that way. Like, we're almost there. That is the peak, I believe, of this mountain. I don't see anything behind it. So either it's going to drop straight off on the other side, or maybe it's going to flatten out for a little bit. I, I'd like to find some good stops. Also, look at how far forward... I'm like hunched. It's like I'm just super focused right now on uh, trying not to die. Okay, so what do we get for being at the top of the mountain? We get a stop, which is, I think is like a newsstand. Oh no, should I even stop here? Like, I feel like if I stop, I'm gonna lose momentum. Oh no, he might try to get in the bus. Hold on, we're moving really slow. Uh, let's close the doors, please. Uh, no, you, you can't enter the bus. Just stay in there. I don't know. It gets a little higher over there. I don't want to go in that direction. That might be the biggest mountain I've ever seen in the game. Oh, my goodness. Look, it's starting to flatten off. Finally. <laughs> Maybe we're not going to die today. Yay. Oh, you can hear it picking up momentum, too. No, stay away, police officer. You guys have already run in the back of me once this episode. You know, it would be kind of neat if this wasn't rain if it was snow because it feels like it should be snow uh, in this section of the map and it has leveled off okay so where does the road go from here we're definitely in the snowy mountains now i mean it only feels fit that this is like the tail end of the 100 days is that we're running into stuff like this uh hopefully we run into some stops i didn't want to stop at the last one because i feel like i was going to definitely lose my momentum but now look at this we finally have speed all right let's see if we can find some there's a lot of like waviness in the terrain so there's a good chance there's stops hiding behind uh, terrain that's actually really close to us. Oh man, the turbo really kicked in there. Yeah, buddy. Feels good being fast again. Oh, you've got to be really again. What is up with the police this episode? You know what? Oh, you almost hit the tree. Okay, there's a good chance you're gonna go flying off the mountain. I'm tired of this. You guys fly up on me and then you just run through the back of me and oh, oh, this is uh, we're starting to go downhill a little bit. Oh, we're going to get a little bit of speed. It'd be a shame if you were to hit a rock or something. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Bear with me. Bear with me. And oh, my goodness. Oh, is he going to land? No. Nope. Oh, OK. Nope. Definitely didn't land it. Nope. Wait, are they dead? Oh, my goodness. I think I saw the body fly out the, uh, the vehicle. Definitely didn't land it. Okay, we're good. Oh my goodness. This has been a journey and a half. Okay, I see what appears to be maybe a haunted house stop up there. Uh, I don't know if it's actually along the road. Wait, where's the road about to go? Oh my goodness, we're going up another freaking mountain. You've got to be kidding me. Maybe we do take the bike out and like hit up a stop or something. Because this video or this uh, whole like terrain is not giving me the opportunity for good stops to build up my bus. We're simply just surviving today, it seems like. Nope, that's definitely a haunted house on the side of the mountain. I just can't get to it uh, unless I want to drive the bike over there, which I'm going to want to carry pallets, and I don't think I'm going to be able to load up a bunch of pallets on the bike. Is, can I connect a small trailer to the bike? That'd honestly be kind of cool. I mean, I could put a small trailer on the, uh, the bus here, but I don't know, me and trailers... We don't always get along. If you recall from my last series, I would just go flying through the sky because I hooked one up. I don't know. Maybe it's not a good idea. Yeah, but today's episode might strictly be about just surviving the elements here. Like, we are just not really getting the stops to build the bus. But, I mean, we are getting closer to day 100, so I guess I can't complain too much. Uh, I just, I'd be happy if I just make it out here alive. That also looks like a really steep hill over to the right that we're about to climb. Uh, get a little tired of those. Uh, oh, great. Now it's just all of a sudden night. Yeah, no, uh, lovely. All right. Well, should we stop and camp for the night? I think we should. I don't think. Oh, hold on. I don't think. Oh, there's a stop down here. But I look at how fast I'm going. I'm about to shoot up this freaking hill. What kind of stop is that? 
Uh, it's just one of those little uh, sheds. They're decent. They normally have like a car in there. Uh, maybe a couple tires, a couple parts. I'm, I'm carrying too much momentum though. I need to keep it wide open here. We're going to drive through the night. Let's try to get up on top of this hill real quick. Uh, with the momentum we have we're going decently fast at the moment you know what would be the ultimate troll is if the game were to spawn in a ufo on us right now and just slow us down is that a that's not a mine shaft is it uh no it's just a rock okay i got excited there for a second but yeah that'd be the worst thing ever if like a freaking ufo popped up and it just slowed us down also look at the sparkling lights of the road back there oh no here we go again all right this is wide open. I don't know. Do I get more traction off-road or on-road? Uh, I've had mixed results with that. Like, there's been times where I actually drove off the road and I got up better than being on the road. I'm hoping that we don't stall out here, though. We got a little bit of momentum because we're going fast there at the bottom. Okay, here we go again. Just hold the W button and hope to make it up to the top of this mountain. You've got to be kidding me. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be completely like transparent and honest with you guys. I was literally checking my phone and in real life, that could have been death. That was a technical there. Like that. Te oh, I'm hungry right now. All right. Well, I can't eat until I get to the top of this hill. Yeah, that was a freaking technical. Like the driver just died and so did the passenger. If they would have opened fire, it could have been game over for the series. I probably wouldn't even know what happened. Like I was looking down at my phone in real life. See, this is a, a PSA for don't text and don't drive, please. Folks, look at how lovely this is. We're, we're going a total of like probably 0.5 miles an hour. I'm actually getting a little bit more grip off-road than I was on. Oh my goodness. Wait, did the cop? Is it stalled out too? I feel like maybe they're... Or they're dead. Wait, why would they be dead? Is it waiting for us? Hold on. Getting a little bit of momentum again. Oh my goodness, this should be the last part of the mountain here. I, I feel like this has been all about mountains and like cliffs wait are you alive i think they're alive what are they waiting on hey you have a car that's clearly capable of getting up this uh, let's go oh that was a creepy look over okay no we're fine okay get back on the road let's see if we can get the rest of the traction that's impressive that this bus makes it up this road like i mean you got to give it props i wonder if the turbo's helping it's got to be helping actually the turbo might not be even spooled up right now i think it has to be like above a certain mile per hour for it to really take effect so it might just strictly be the bus engine that's powering us up the side of this mountain. Well, 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 that's the, uh, the sun there. Editor, go ahead and flash the next day on screen. We drove through the night because I didn't want to lose momentum and pull over on the side of the road. But we've made it to another day, so... And also, look at that. That's beautiful. Wait, which direction is the sun coming up from? I think it's coming up from over there. But yeah, it's, it's pretty. Uh, we just have, like, another probably 10 minutes of me climbing this hill, and hopefully maybe that's it. Bye. We're so close to the freaking sky. You can see the jet stream up there from a, an airplane. Like, it's right there. Like, we're that high up at the moment. This has been rather impressive. Oh, no, no. The pain and suffering continues. Look at the road. It goes back up to the other side of the tall mountain. Like, what is even happening here? This is like the most cursed section of road I've ever seen in the game. All right, well, I'm going to spend the next... 10 minutes trying to climb up this next hill which i thought we were at the top of this hill and yeah apparently that's not a thing yeah this is this is just glorious at some point i'm just gonna release the bus let it go down i'm gonna take the bike for the rest of the journey i feel like being in the bike for the rest of the journey might be a little deadly though like if i get hit once i'm i'm done at least in the car i can take a little bit of an impact oh my goodness all right well uh we're in another snowy mountain yay <laughs> this is great folks this might be it. This might be the road that breaks the camel's back here. Look at how slow I'm moving. I'm just, I'm getting wheel spin from the back. I'm not getting the grip that I need. Uh-oh. Okay. We are officially moving the slowest I've ever seen. Uh, we need a plan. Wait, is somebody come like hit the back of my vehicle and push me? We're right here. Like, I think this is, well, I think I've said that multiple times. Like, oh, I think this is it. No, I don't know if this is it, but I'm hoping this is it. Uh, okay. Well, good news is we're still moving bad news is we're moving at like 0.1 miles per hour and it might take literally 15 minutes to get up this hill i'm just gonna hold it wide open keep my mouth shut hopefully maybe we get a little boost or something uh because we are just we're struggling right now uh, i wonder if there would be more grip off road here like look at my tires my back tires are just spinning do not come down here and block don't block my path and do not pull in front of me do not like run into me i think they're aiming the other direction Okay, I gotta try to pull off here. This isn't working. Like, this is awful. Hold on. 
Is there more grip if I go off here? Come on. Oh, hold on. Maybe. Hold on, is this more grippy? It's bad when the dirt might be more grippy than the uh, actual asphalt, but it does look like it's got ice on it. I don't know if that actually changes in the game as far as the characteristics. I kind of wish it did. Maybe a little bit more. Could you imagine just driving and you run into like an icy patch and slide off the road? Okay, this is maybe slightly better. No, this might not be better. I'm not really sure. Okay, should I just put the parking brake on? Maybe we walk to see. Oh my goodness, there's another hill behind this one. Parking brake on. Folks, we got to do some serious debating here. What are we going to do? We are stuck on the side of a mountain. Like, look at how steep this is. This is ridiculous. Like, I'm not even... Oh my. All right. Yeah, there's uh, there's some serious doubts in the future of the series here. Let me know. Maybe there's a way I can gain some grip. Uh, anybody have any ideas? Comment down below. And you know what? We're going to see you next time on The Long Drive.